So let's talk lower parts kits. This lower parts kit I have on this kind of Frankenstein AR-15 build right here. Uh, I want to talk about real quick and share with you. And I really, really like what it has to offer for a basic lower parts kit. Now, typically, a lower parts kit, when you're, when you're looking at the basic ones, there's really not a lot you can talk about because they're just kind of standard spec parts. Um, typically, you only get into something neat when there's something that's out of the ordinary, like you have a nice two-stage trigger or you have something else that's a little bit different about the parts set versus a standard so-called mil-spec part set. This is pretty much a mil-spec part set, with the exception the trigger has been improved. Now, this isn't a two-stage trigger or anything like that. Uh, now, this kit from Unbranded AR, uh, what they did is they took the trigger, they kind of did some finish work to it, and without getting too technical, they've really improved the pull uh, and the reset of the trigger. So it's a very consistent... It's not gritty. It's very smooth. The reset is very nice. And this is, this is the ELG lower parts kit. So kind of remember that. If you're looking for the specific one, when you go to the website, look for the ELG. And they'll give you some technical specifications as far as what they did to actually make this a um, very smooth trigger. But the basic thing you need to know is it's very smooth. Now, along with that, I mean, you have the standard lower parts kit here. Along with that, this is the mil spec carbine buffer kit, and there's not much I can say on that except it's well finished, well made, and it works just fine. Uh, it's pretty much par for the course as far as what you're going to get for a uh, buffer tube set, right there. I haven't had any issues with it all. All the parts are well machined. Uh, again, this is the mil spec sized buffer tube, so that's a great thing right there. Uh, it really, the best thing that I can say about the trigger uh, is when I first got the parts kit, I was like, okay, it has a nice little trigger in it. I put it in, I said, okay, it seems to be pretty decent. It really shined when I took it out and shot it. Uh, I had a 5.56 upper on this thing. I shot it a few times and I just loved the trigger. Now, I'm a big two stage trigger guy. I love Geisley triggers, I love all kinds of fancy triggers. Um, the mil spec triggers, the standard ones are, they work, but I've never been as much of a fan. This kind of changed that. Now I'm kind of a fan. I'm like, boy, I really like how this trigger is. Uh, now I think that's where this lower parts kit really shines. Now, another thing to speak about is, let me throw this upper on. The upper that I have currently matched to this lower is a 7.62 by 39 millimeter upper. And the significance of that is with the 762 by 39 uppers, the uh, sometimes you have an issue with the hammer springs or, or whatnot just being a little bit too um, light to detonate the primers. There, it's not unheard of for an AR style 762 by 39 that you have to get the enhanced firing pin. You have to get you know maybe some enhanced springs and whatnot so that way you get reliable detonation. I don't have an issue uh, at all. Now the upper is from Bear Creek Arsenal. And it's just kind of a standard fair 762 by 39 upper. But I haven't had any issues at all shooting this gun. Only one round failed to ignite so far, and that was because it's a dead primer. It had nothing to do with the light primer strikes or anything like that. It's just a dead primer. I was using cheat tool ammo and wolf ammo. And that's not the first time I've encountered dead primers with those things. So it kind of it is what it is. But um to me, that spoke to the quality of the trigger group. I mean, it still has good spring tension on the hammer, yet it still feels really nice, really consistent. So I highly recommend this trigger group from Unbranded AR if you're looking for something to finish out, a strip lower that you may have. They also have lowers there as well. So if you're looking for kind of a complete a lower, check out the lowers that they have on their site, and then you can kind of make your own little complete lower setup based on what they have. So, all right. Thanks a lot for listening. I don't want to get too long-winded because, I mean, it is what it is. You can only talk about a lower parts kit for so long. I am certainly not a nut and fancy. So, anyway, feel free to add your comments and your experiences, whether good or bad, from this company. And, as always, stay safe.